Well, traders, it's uh, it's definitely a uh, a great great move. Uh, we still have our uh, four day leader Bilal at the top, twenty six thousand four fifty five. Going into the last day today, he is the uh, number one rank. If you see number two, Anthony uh, Anthony S moving up from number get this, Mayor, two hundred and fifty ninth spot, all the way up to two hundred and fifty, or all the way up to number two. Well, what a move! Put on an unbelievable, yeah, unbelievable move. Almost twenty, oh, fifteen thousand dollars in trading on Friday. And and by the way, Mayor, we had an incredible day. I don't know if you, uh, if, if uh, somebody had written to you or not, but we had an incredible afternoon on Friday. And a lot of these traders, Danny was here, myself, Amir, and uh, we put the market to shame. So a lot of the traders, you see, number four place here, Valdas, was five hundred and fortieth. 540th and came all the way up to number four. So a lot of movement here in the um, in the uh, uh, in the trading competition. It is unbelievable. Huge changes to the top 20 chart. You can see by the column here, the previous previously ranked column. You see some big movers here that people have been uh, coming up into the top 20, even into the top 20, uh, into the top 10. So just a great, uh, great, absolutely awesome day on all of these movers. Now, take a look at this here. Daily eliminations. Daily eliminations. We got a little <laughs> bit, uh, little bit more. I could expect that, Scott. I <laughs> so could expect that. that. People are taking that risk, man. Yep. And, and you're going to see, you're going to see that even higher today. I think on day number ten, when people right. are trying to make that. Into the last day, but we had uh, we had what uh, 94 people come out of the competition on Friday, trying to make those big moves, those big gains, trying to get into the top 20 and into the top 10. Um, but I've got to tell you, the top top 10 contains people from all across the charts. Some of them uh, had some big losses, making some huge profits, and uh, really respect Anthony, as you saw right here. Anthony went from 259 all the way up to number two earning second place, so we'll see if Anthony can hold on today. And as we do each and every time, we go over the trades, and traders take a look at place below. Oh, I know he's playing close to the best here because he's uh, he only traded uh, one symbol, and that's the L, um, yeah, LIP, you know, LJPC, right? LIPC, right? And um, just 200 shares, so he's playing very protective of his lead. And uh, we'll see on day number two, or day number catches them, or if playing safe is going to lead to first place and winning the competition. We're going to have to wait and see how that works out. But 200 shares uh, short, bought to cover uh, just a little bit, uh, little bit later uh, with a small profit and um, covered the whole position then, added to it, and then covered 400 shares down here uh, with, a, um, uh, with a small profit. So again, small trade, small profit. I think just playing it conservative, and we'll see if that strategy works out for him. And then in second place, get uh, second place here, a whole different type of move. And this was uh, Anthony here. So you can see Anthony, many many trades. Three stocks traded Domo, which we traded on uh, on Friday. Traded RVLV, which we traded. Bought a thousand shares of Microsoft. Sold them with a small loss and then took both long and short positions on RVLV um, and exiting in partials. Uh, traded between 875 shares and 9,000 shares, and the profit generated just by trading RVLV was substantial, and that moved Anthony into second place. Uh, 2,000 shares of Domo sold them in about seven minutes with a loss, almost 28. Thousand mayor twenty eight thousand dollars of profit in one trading day, one trading day twenty eight thousand dollars. Unbelievable. So that was the big move. That's a huge move. That's the, that's going from two hundred fifty ninth place all the way up to number two, and then final traders. Finally, our third place uh, third place trader just took beyond one stock. BYND bought 1,500 shares. Now, one thing I did want to point out here, take a look at this, 1,500 shares at 124. Watch this one, Mayor, right here. 
1,500 shares at 124 and then came out of 1,000 shares at 135, 11 points, 135, and then came out 500 shares at 145. And traders, this type of trade right here is exactly the type of trade and trader that, that, that I believe can win the competition. This is getting into the trade, taking a partial, letting the, the rest run. That is 21 points, $21 of profit on beyond. Just absolutely incredible. Great trading, great trading, and that was put on by Marco. So congratulations, Marco. Yeah, good and job, traders, Marco. As we get into this day, yeah, as we get into this last day today, the 10th and final day of the world's largest trading competition, understand that you have an opportunity to win the trading competition, even on the last day. Day. All it takes is a couple of great trades, and away you go. So I know that there's going to be people that are risking it all, probably gambling on the last day. I understand that. And today, if you're going to do it, today's the day to do it. And hopefully, we'll see that top 10 tomorrow morning, and we'll, we'll be able to talk about the winners, and we'll be able to interview them. It's going to be great to, to, to talk to the people that are in the top 10 to figure out how they did it, if they waited until the last day, what they did to make things happen. So a, um, a great, great opportunity. Mayor, what do you think? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm watching the numbers here, and I'm seeing a lot of people who are making over, I don't know, um, I mean, top 20, that's all I see here. It's over over $8,000 for 10 trading days. Mm -hmm. And that would be an average of $800 a day. And then you look at the winners, which are over two grand a day. And that, you know, that's, that's the potential of uh, trading an account, which has quite a lot of uh, buying power. My account, for example, my personal account has more buying power than this, so it's not a fair game. I think if I would count my, if I would take a look at my account the last 10 days, I would, I'm not sure, but I would be in the first five, I guess, somewhere over there. That's with a real account with more buying power. But that just tells you that when you have a bigger account, your, your chance of uh, finding the right trade and putting a little bit more quantity on the right trade of course it's not the same as trading a demo account i'm no i'm sure it's not the same but it just gives you an idea of what you can do with a little bit more buying power so if you if you are used to trading a small account and um, now trading um, this demo two hundred and forty thousand dollar account that should give you some kind of an idea to what is the potential of trading an account like that. And of course, it would have been real money, then you would have been a little bit more careful, much more careful. But it, it gives you an idea of what you can do with a larger account size. And I think that's that's one of the nice things about this competition, that um, it gives you a clue of how to trade with a larger account and uh, just to have the idea of what it is. And and you know, it's, it's, it's an opportunity that most people don't get you can get a demo account, but training it in a live competition and uh, have something that you can win uh, that, you know, it's kind of uh, giving you the feeling that this demo account is theoretically as close as possible as you can get to a real account because you have something to look for. So that's quite an interesting um, feeling and I hope you enjoy that. So it's the last day of the competition now. I think it's um, time to ask you guys if you enjoyed it so far. What's your opinion about this? Yeah, and, and one of the things I did want to point out, I just circled it, Mayor. Take a look at the top five, the number of tickets, right, the number of trades in the top five, and and then look at the difference between that and the, the next five. You know, you've got you get your 66 tickets total, 29. Anthony's only got 29 tickets. For, for trades, and he's in second place. And then you've got another group below here, 286, 115, 212, 273, you know, trading a lot more, and you see the top five trading a lot less. So very, very interesting. Yeah, but, it, it, uh, well, I know it, that it, a lot of people have emailed me. Go ahead. 
it, it shows you that you don't need a lot of tickets to become a winner. And I guess the ones that with a larger ticket size uh, can make money too, of course. But it seems like if you go down to the next five, it's probably going to be an average of approximately 50% of uh, the gains of the first five. So I'm not sure, but uh, if you take the average of the um, best five and then the second five, uh, you'll probably find that it's around 50% of the gains of um, the leading five. So more tickets are not necessarily um, a winning tool. Less tickets usually means that you're concentrating more on your trades and so on. Yep, yep. And I think the, 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 the comments, if you read some of them here in the room, yeah, I think there's, there's been plenty of people that have learned, uh, have, have loved competition and have learned that, hey, I made a mistake early on, um, you know, and we bring the updates every day. So people are learning that, you know, what it takes, that, that it takes, you know, consistency and to develop your skills as a trader and not to be a gambler. And, and we understand, Mayor and I and the rest of the team understand that there's going to be that aspect of gambling on the first day and on the last couple of days because people want to win the competition. But I, I truly feel that, you know, as you get into the competition and as you've gone through the competition, hopefully this competition has, has turned the light bulb on in your head and, and you have not only made mistakes, but you've also seen a lot of yourself you've, uh, in your trading, the way that you've been trading, the mistakes that you've made with the, with the demo account. It's not, it's not real money. So, you know, is that something that, that um, you know, that affected you? Did you trade differently? What did you learn? Were you over-trading, under-trading? But I, I think overall the competition is, is, is great. It's very healthy. It's fun. But I think the learning piece of it, when you take away from what you've learned in this competition and now apply it to your live account, if you so have one or if you're going to be purchasing one, uh, a, a package, uh, that you learn and you take away from this competition and you become a better trader. Um, and, and I think that that's the takeaway. And I think many of you here in the room, um, you know, like Sharif's comment here, especially the foolish trading, you, you learn about yourself. You learn how you, you react and you learn how you act and you learn how you trade in this competition. And that's the underlying message that, uh, that we wanted to make sure that everybody that was involved, you know, 3,000 traders here uh, that went through it, that you learn from the competition, that it was healthy, and that you might, you know, it might pique your interest to say, you know what, I want to, I want to carry on as a day trader. I enjoyed the competition, and now I want to make the, the, uh, the leap into, into, into day trading. So, and, and to answer your questions, guys, uh, surely we're going to have this competition uh, repeated. It's not the last one, and um, it's, I mean. I don't expect it to be less than annually, but um, I think, you know, I think there's a lot of people here who who gained a lot from this competition. I mean, uh, trading-wise, uh, having some kind of a better idea on how to trade, got a lot of um, got a lot of knowledge from this competition. I think from perspectives of education, we achieved in the last 10 days probably more than I can achieve in a different type of education in 10 days. So if I think about the results here, if I think about the 3,000 people who joined this competition and the way that it helped them to become better traders, I think that uh, what we achieved here in the last 10 days is better than any course I could have given. I think so. I mean, for some of you, not for all of you, surely. So we, 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 have to, we have to continue with that, maybe more than just annually, maybe much more than that, really. So I think, I think that should, it should happen more and more. And uh, j j j just that you understand, traders, um, you're using a live platform for 10 days, 3,000 people. Uh, double that with the uh, with the access with the data fees for every platform because it costs money, and just come out with a number because um, we're paying that, and um, it's it's not it's not it's not cheap to run this competition. It's quite a lot of money. 
I'm not sure about the price, but it's tens of thousands. And but I think it's worth it. I seriously think it's worth it. And um, even though it costs quite a lot, I think for long run, uh, the fact that uh, you guys appreciate it and liked it and uh, probably become uh, you know better customers too. <laughs> Of course, we expect you to keep on using TradeNet and uh, hope that uh, this helped us. Uh, so hopefully we gained more than we spent. We can only tell that in the future. But um, from education point of view, I'm sure that we've done the right thing. I'm absolutely sure about that. So waiting forward to see the end of the day results, as you probably do too. And um, it's going to be interesting tomorrow, Scott. And thank you for joining. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting. Yeah, and I think you know one of the things uh, I was just reading Warren's comment. Warren W. You know, he feels more world ed, you know, real world education uh, with real examples of, of many traders. And I got to tell you, you know, Mayor, it's, it's we always talk about hey, reading a great book or reading Mayor's book or, or educating yourself through reading a book is great. I, I still think, and I know that Mayor does too, that the best education is to be part of this trading room on a daily basis where we have. You know, thousands of traders that, that join us and post their trades and, and share with uh, everybody their experience. And then to go through a trading competition where you're actually using the same platform that we use on a daily basis. I mean, you cannot get, there's no book that teaches that. Um, there's no trading room. It, it's real live feed on a real live platform. And uh, I've got to tell you, I know that uh, from all the messages that I've received, I know that people are not only thankful, but they've, they've learned a lot in the competition. And hopefully if you're making a decision to, you know, purchase a package and carry on, that's great. And if you're not, we wish you the best. And we know that, uh, you know, this is a great home and a great trading room for you to be part of in the future. We're going to be here, and I'm with Mayor. I, I think this contest will, will reappear at some point in time. Uh, we'll evaluate it, make sure that it's, it's, it's right, and it did the right things for not only the company but all of our traders worldwide. But uh, I, I couldn't be more happy. I couldn't be happier than the way it turned out, and I know that we've got a lot of people out there that have really enjoyed it. So I'm looking forward to uh, this afternoon, and uh, we will see the uh, winner tomorrow, and uh, we'll make the announcement, and then hopefully put together an interview with myself and Mayor uh, this week sometime if, uh, if we can with maybe the, the winner or the top five or a couple of the people that uh, uh, that will talk about it. So, And, and, okay. tell, and the one last thing I would say, uh, so you just that uh, guys get ready for this. Um, we are thinking about, actually, let me ask this in a poll. Uh, Clifton, can you put up a poll? And the question would be, should we apply more rules to the competition? Like one rule that we applied was uh, the $3,500, which I think was a successful idea um, to the competition. Should we apply more rules or not? I mean, rules could be, for example, maximum number of uh, tickets a day, um, maybe tighter stops, um, or should we just leave it the way it is? What do you think about that? It's going to be harder, of course, if we're going to apply rules. And more people will get disqualified. Very interesting it's results. Kind of 50-50. Right. Yeah. I thought we're going to get... Many more would say yes, I was mistaken. Because my personal opinion was that we should apply more rules. <laughs> Interesting, we got 55% saying no. Yeah, people get disqualified anyways. I know. I'm just thinking, well, you know what? Doesn't matter what I'm thinking. What kind of rules? Well, maximum tickets, for example, minimum number of tickets, so that uh, when you have a trading day, you wouldn't be trading one ticket a day just because you must trade five trading days. Yeah, 
Or minimum tickets, you have to trade four trades a day, something like that? No penny stocks, possibly, I'm not sure. <laughs> That's a good rule, man. <laughs> it ranges in, in between, yes, you must, and no way. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> it looks like it doesn't matter what we're gonna do. Somebody's gonna get angry here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fifty percent will get angry. I don't want to do that. No pump and dump. <laughs> yeah, possibly we should leave it the way it is. Okay. Uh, thank you for your uh, <laughs> for your answer. We definitely have winners. Uh, I mean, 54% saying no. Well, mm -hmm. quite interesting. <laughs> it was interesting. <laughs>